Nor Gary Haylock finished off from 15 yards. Undeterred, Chimney Corner kept pressing forward and came perilously close when a shot rebounded off the crossbar. With nine minutes remaining, however, the juniors got the goal they deserved, a well-placed clearance, some slack defending, and Jim Brannigan beat Tim Dalton. There was a fair bit of controversy about Portadown's winner when Chimney Corner's Brendan McNamee was judged to have fouled Colm Treason on the edge of the box. The challenge looked innocuous enough, but the decision stood, and Vinnie Arkins put Portadown into the semi-finals.